All right, ball spring practice. Day number four, we see Coach Hype out there getting the boys right. And we got Nico to Dante Thornton. That's how we always started off. Dante has been very impressive throughout all of spring so far in every single clip that I've seen. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Pay attention to Nico's zip on his footballs today. He's throwing it with a lot more zip. So he is definitely, uh, you know, kind of, I wouldn't say in midseason form, but he is, you know, like in summer ball form for sure. So the quarterbacks look really crisp. They look really sharp. We saw a couple of drops. Okay, we're, we're going to see that as we go through this. And that's where white. He's been looking good so far. And then Caleb Webb is another one that I think he's been very, very impressive. I like what he's done in the offseason. He actually looks visibly thicker. Now we've got Jake Merklinger, okay? That ball right there didn't look great, okay? Didn't have that perfect spiral, but he's definitely on the money. So you have to be excited about seeing these young, true freshmen coming in here and balling out this way. Definitely looks good so far, uh, for sure. You know, just putting the balls in some good places where the wide receivers can make some pretty easy catches. And the same thing with Nico, right? Now, look at, look at the zip on that pass, right? That was beautiful. And we're going to see some more across the middle on some digs. And, you know, even though he throws it hard, I mean, it's such a catchable football. You can see in the background, too, the running backs kind of going through their whole deal. That one right there, Ethan Davis tries to one-handed, okay? He probably could have put two hands out there and made that catch. And we're going to see that a couple of times throughout practice today. Now, look at how beautiful that ball is. That's an NFL type of a throw. That ball got there instantly, and it's dead on the money. So, Beautiful footwork as well. That's something I've been paying attention to with the quarterbacks today. And right now, okay, at day four, the skill guys are going to be a little bit more tired, okay? Chris Brazel, he's looking like he's getting a lot more comfortable just as far as making the catches more consistently as far as what we've been able to see. And, uh, you know, Braylon Staley, who you can just look at him right there. You can tell he looks the part, okay? He looks like a slot receiver in the SEC. And, uh, you know, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what he's going to be doing. Now, we're seeing some different things in what we've seen before okay motioning out and then coming back in on a dig now he didn't make that catch right he didn't make that catch but he will get back into it that's just part of those you know this is like the fourth practice and i mean that's just what's going to happen i just talked about this the skill guys are going to be a little bit more tired so that's definitely normal and they will pick up the pace as time goes on now something else that i have not pointed out yet okay this is coach pope right here this is our wide receivers coach he's a stud we know that georgia tried to come out to him pretty hard now watch this here okay he's coming at the people and he's hitting them so i could tell there was a big point of emphasis in our wide receivers being more physical and p and i talked about this a lot last season you've got to have some dogs out there on the outside and on this one right here coach pope was like stay up stay up you know you got to make sure you know i, I like to see braylon staley diving after those passes it's kind of like a natural thing when you are a true playmaker but you've got to stay up you got to stay healthy and that's going to be really important for our balls but i love the fact that we are being physical with these wide receivers and making it difficult right like you make it very difficult in practice okay you do it uh you know as many reps as difficult as possible because then once you get into a game time situation it becomes that much easier so i love to see that i love that point of emphasis and everyone i mean we just look so much more athletic compared to last season i know we said that before but it's just true and you're seeing it in every single rep okay that these young players are going through so for sure, I'm very excited. Now we're on to the offensive line. And let's heard right here, okay, he, you know, he's kind of taking it easy, right? You know, he's taking it easy on Big Dane Davis, but he's going to be just fine. Now watch this rep by Max Anderson. I want to talk about, you know, how special that is. That's perfect, right? Feet, 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 and then throw the hips, right? It's feet, 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 placement. And once you get engaged, get those hips going, right? And that's something that we heard Coach Sims talking to the running backs about uh, on, the, on the previous practice. But it's important for every single position in football. Dane Davis looks really good. Now, my, one of my questions is going to be, will he be one of the starters? Okay, is he going to be one of the, you know, rotational pieces at left guard early on in the season? And Cooper Mays, just a thumper. I mean, you got to love that. Big Jackson Lampley working over there at the right side. I would really like to see him working at left at some point. Now, that might come next week, but he's a guy that's definitely fighting for that left guard position. So we need to see that. Now, this is a much better rep right here from Lance Hurd. You can see that. His hand placement, his technique, his fundamentals were all really, really good. Gus Hill is a guy that's going to be a depth piece for us this season. Now, this is Gage Ginther going, and oh, man, I mean, that didn't look necessarily great. He needs to probably put his hips into it just a little bit more, but I do like what he's going to be bringing to this team. Now, we've got the safeties working in the middle of the field and playing in coverage at safety, especially man-to-man -man coverage, is a little bit different because you're off the ball, and you've got a slow play in the back pedal, which is what we're going to see right here. Boom. And then as soon as the wide receiver, tight end, whoever, uh, you know, makes their break, once they, uh, you know, kind of dictate where they're going, you've got to be able to 
break up with them. So that's all that this drill is simulating. And, you know, I think that so far we're looking pretty good. We're actually going to see some players that will look even better as we continue to go through this. And, uh, you know, we all know that Edris Farouk is a true freshman. John Slaughter, I mean, he looks perfect in this drill. I, I, I still think he's probably the guy that will be starting next to Kobe Thomas uh, at safety. And Christian Harrison, who we most definitely like a lot. I mean, he looks good out there. He's, uh, you know, about 6'1", 6'2", and it's probably somewhere around 200 pounds. Okay, he's got long arms. You can see that. And we've talked about his father and Rodney Harrison being probably, you know, I think he's going to end up being a Hall of Fame uh, safety. And so, you know, that's something that should come very natural to him. But you love the way that players are breaking from the safety position. Again, guys, we're just so much more athletic than we have been over the past few seasons. And this guy right here, Kobe Thomas, look, that's textbook. That's perfect. I mean, he gets right on top of the route. He cuts the route off. And everything that he does is physical. And, you know, we've heard the coaches kind of talking about, hey, man, this is a very physical player. And now we're seeing Coach Banks getting him right. You know, it's all about those little finite details to get players better. And Boo Carter, okay, now this right here is your welcome to the SEC moment for him. If you're going to be playing safety or star, there's some big physical players that you have to guard, and they will push off of you. And nine times out of ten, it won't be called. But I love what I saw out of this team today. And we will have a, uh, you know, full final thoughts breakdown coming out here shortly. So thank you all for sticking all the way to the end. Please make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share with your friends, family, and other volunteer friends. We'll see you all in just a minute. Thanks. Peace.